हाउ टू चेक वेदर इट इज अ माउथ अल्सर और अ माउथ कैंसर और कैन माउथ अल्सर ट्रांसफॉर्म टू माउथ कैंसर या फिर क्या पान चुइंग या स्मोकिंग से वाक्य में ही कैंसर होता है और कैन इट लीड्स टू माउथ कैंसर वेलकम टू डेंटिस्ट्री वर्ल्ड वाइड विद डॉक्टर सौरभ मल्होत्रा आई हैव पोस्टेड अ वीडियो बिफोर आल्सो यू कैन चेक इन दिस लिंक इट इज अबाउट द वाइट लीजेंस वेदर दे आर कैंसर्स और नॉट प्लीज गो एंड चेक दैट so we will discuss a case report uh, this patient came to us with a chief complaint of pain and ulcer in the mouth since few months asking uh, the past dental history patient told that he went to the clinic before and he did not get any relief from the ulcer and with time the ulcer got bigger in size and it was it has become more painful In this type of cases, uh, we should always ask about the habits of the patient. In this, uh, the patient is a smoker since 30 years, and medical history also plays a very important role in these type of cases. In this, uh, in this case, a uh, patient told that he has lost some weight in last few weeks. So this uh, history is also important. He is on medication for the pain relief of this lesion only. Otherwise, uh, he has not taken any medication for other medical purposes. While uh, examining these type of cases, we should always start with the extra oral examination, in which we have to check the lymph nodes, the swelling, the extent of swelling, even the redness, uh, whether the skin is shiny or not. So we have to see all these things when it comes to these cases. in this patient you can see there's a mild swelling that can be noted on the right side of the mandible on doing the uh, extra oral examination for the lymph nodes the submandibular lymph node it was palpable on this side tender also coming to the intra oral examination this is what we call ulcero proliferative growth or we can also call it as non healing ulcer coming to the borders it was raised and irregular with rolled out edges and with a uh, base it was indurated coming to the teeth it was grade 3 mobility that were noted from first premolar to the third molar area patient had quite a poor oral hygiene because of the smoking and tobacco chewing on lungal side the growth was seen extending till the mid of the floor of the mouth with erythematous foci throughout the surface patient was further advised for radiographic investigations and iopa and opg was taken for this patient panoramic radiograph showed large ill defined redolent area you can see here it is involving the 43 to 48 tooth region there is a loss of this buccal cortical plate also but the border of the mandible is intact correlating the clinical features and radiographic findings a uh, provisional diagnosis of malignant ulcero proliferative lesion was given with differential diagnosis of tuberculous ulcer the staging was given t1 n1 and m0 incisional biopsy was planned for this patient and the specimen was sent to the lab for further investigations a biopsy report showed hyperplastic proliferative parakeratinized stratified squamous epithelium which was invading the underlying molecular dense fibrocollagenous stroma as strands and cords which were noted because of this a uh, definite diagnosis of oral squamous cell carcinoma was given to this patient nowadays another uh, diagnostic approach is used uh, which is called as liquid biopsy uh, it is a minimal invasive screening uh, technique uh, which is widely used nowadays it facilitates the assessment of circulating tumor dna and released circulating tumor cells in the blood or other body fluids uh, which helps in real time monitoring of cancer evaluation so after all the investigations and final diagnosis the patient was referred to aims for further treatment soon we will do the follow up for this patient and will let you know the present status of the patient So please subscribe and hit the like button uh, please help us uh, by gaining more subscribers and views thank you